Oh, hello. Name's Lal. Travelling musician. Well, suit yourself. Hello. Huh? Oh, hello, hello. Welcome to Yesterby, home of the Boat Lodge. My name's Jasper, and I'm in charge of the project. How can I be of service to you? Um, nice to meet you, Jasper. I'm a travelling musician. I'm Lal. I'm here for inspiration. I'm planning to stay for a few days. Say no more. You've come to the very epicenter of inspiration. You see, we have this marvelous view of the bay, and an original, if slightly modernized, fishing village. Alas, the lodge itself is still under construction, but I can offer you different accommodation. Oh, no, no, no. That won't be a problem. I have a van to stay in. A van? Okay, very well. That will certainly resolve the matter. All right, then, if you need a tour around Yesterby or basically anything else, I'm just a holler away. Have a great stay. Thanks. Hey there. Hello. My name's Lal. I'm a musician, on the road, so to speak. Thought I'd stay for a bit in Yesterby. Well, welcome. Usually fall would be a great time to visit, but... Yeah, I've heard. My condolences. Thank you. I'm sorry, Lal, but I need to be going. I hope you have a good stay here. Thanks. I'll tread carefully. Hey, uh... What's up? Well, I just got an email. Regardless of the quality of our prototype, and I am certain that it will be off the charts, we will have to cut costs. Significantly. Okay. Good that we plan for this, right? I'm afraid reducing the number of boats won't work. We're still aiming at the same number of guests revenue-wise. But we need to cut corners. How? And why? Seriously? Money comes, money goes. At the end of the day, it's just business. We're already operating at a bare minimum. I'm sure we'll find a way. I'll give the numbers a hard look. You let me know if you have any ideas, okay? Okay. Great. Let's talk again later. Hello. Oh, hi. My name's Lal. I travel around, gathering inspiration for my songs. I'm River. You've come to the right place, then. If there's one thing Yesterby is good for, it's inspiring big dreams. So I've heard. Also, about what happened. I'm very sorry about Angela. Oh, thanks. Were you close? Growing up here, you're destined to be. You don't like it here? It's not half as bad as some people make it out to be. There's always room for improvement, though. You're the one managing the boat construction, aren't you? Uh, yeah? I, I couldn't help noticing the huge billboards down the road. Oh, right. Dad put them up there. He worries a lot about marketing. Well, there's not much sense in having a gig if nobody's coming to the show. Guess that'll turn Yesterby into a tourist hotspot, huh? Yeah, maybe. You don't seem thrilled. Should I be? I mean, it's the best plan we've got for Yesterby, but I'm not even sure if we're doing the right thing. Some villagers don't even like the lodge, including my best friend's mom. I'm not even sure whether my own mom would support it if I wasn't her daughter. I see. Why are you asking? I could do some lobbying for you. I'm good with people. I'm afraid we don't have any budget for that. That's all right. Just an idea to open some minds for a possible future. It's mostly your family's project, right? The others probably feel a little left out. So I might be able to help engage them. Wait, let me get this straight. You came here to lobby for a project that means nothing to you. And you want to do it for free? Just like that? That about sums it up. Well, fair enough. I guess you're welcome to try. So good luck then. You're gonna need it. I'll do my worst. So, um, yes? Don't rush me, I'm stalling for time. Every fiber of my being condemns me for wanting to say this, but I still feel that I should. I think you are spending too much time with me. What? I feel bad for leeching so much of your attention. Now I want to spend even more time with you. 
which is exactly how it should be. But you mustn't neglect the others for my sake. They need you too. Here comes the waterfall. Thanks for understanding. There, I said my piece. Now off you go and be a hero. I'll do what I can. Dad told me to cut costs on the boat lodge. I heard. The investors are causing trouble. I don't get it. How can it be this easy for them to withdraw their money? Can't they see that they're crippling the entire project? They're a group of dentists. All they want is a quick return on their investment to improve their pension plans. They don't care much about our blood and sweat. All they'll probably see of the project is the commercial your father's about to shoot. What commercial? Didn't he tell you? Your dad wants to hire an agency to produce one. Oh, yeah, I remember. I just never thought that he would go through with it. You know, not doing it would save us a lot of money. Be sure that he's in a good mood when you propose that to him. You know how passionate he can be when it comes to marketing. Well, wish me luck then. Fingers are crossed and thumbs are pressed, as the Germans would say. How's the boat lodge coming along? Slowly. But Melville isn't really letting anyone else help. Well, you're his boss. If you want to get your hands dirty, just do it. It doesn't feel like I'm the boss. He does his thing, and all I can do is check to see if we're on schedule. That's called managing. I thought there'd be more to it. Don't make yourself so small, Rev. Be proactive and see where it takes you. I guess you're right. Maybe I am too passive. Thanks for the advice, Mom. Whew. I've done quite a lot now. Covered all the ground at least twice. I should be okay to take on the math test now. Why can't you give me an idea of how to pull this thing around? Just one would be enough. Okay, one last swing. The one feature that this village really needs, and that we criminally overlooked so far, is an astronomical observatory. Up on the cliffs, overlooking the entire bay. Seriously? People would spot it from miles away. Heck, even the cruisers out on the ocean would see it. What's wrong? Immortality is up for grabs. Come on, these ideas need to be more grounded. They're designed to be outrageous. Any compromise would kill them. Come on, what happened to your sense of adventure? Maybe I just want to finish something for once. Give me one idea. Just one good idea that we can actually see through. We need something to get people excited. Just imagine how easy it would be if everyone was invested. If only it were so simple. Last time I checked, no one cared about the project at all. Mom told me you're hiring an ad agency to film a commercial. Not just any agency, but the guys who did the Loxland campaign. I want them to do something similar for us. An entire campaign? By the end of the year, Yesterby will be a household name for practically everyone with a wallet. Only if our wallet isn't empty by then. Well, we certainly can't save on advertising. But we don't have to go all in either. Come on, Dad. We're still only working on the prototype. I thought we agreed that you take care of development, while I take care of marketing. Let's talk again once we're back on schedule. Do you remember Lee's welcome party? It was the first and only time I ever saw Mom drunk. Found you. Everyone thinks you left already. Oh, I did. It's just the fresh breeze that's been keeping me. Well, have fun at the party. Don't stay up too late, you hear? Connie told me she saw you crying. She's been standing at the window for a while, you know. Oh, dear Lord. Do you want to sit with me for a bit? Don't tell me you're jealous because Dad is hitting it off with Lee. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? You know, when we moved here, he used to hide these little messages around the house. I loaf you very much. 
You are my butter half. He hasn't done that in a long while now. I'm sure he still loafs you a lot, Mom. Then why does he look so much happier when he's talking to her? Because we all do. She is the only one not consumed by the weight of Gemre's death. To be frank, a party like this would have been unimaginable a few months ago. We all needed this. Everything's changing. I don't know if I can keep up with it. But it's good that I have such a smart daughter explaining it all to me. Isn't that the yeast I can do? <laughs> oh, I miss his stupid little messages. Do you think we can get Dad to write her one? Just to get her mind off of things for a moment. You look so tired, sis. Should I leave for tonight? No. You must stay. Without you, it's even worse. All right. I just hate to see you like this. A penny for your thoughts? What do you want to know? Whatever's going on in that sweet little head of yours. Nothing you would understand. Why don't you just try me? I'm talking to Angie. Oh. I'm doing that too. No. You're just remembering. You're not hearing her. Honey? I told you, you wouldn't understand. Why don't you write mom silly messages anymore? You mean the loaf notes? Because I can still hear her eyes rolling whenever she found one. But that reminds me, there are still a few in the bedroom. I have to burn them before she sees them. Well, I'd say if he won't use them, then we should. Mm, managing a warehouse. Would it work out for me, Angie? All right, let's give it a shot. How hard can this math test be anyway? Highly motivated, reliable worker. Significant experience in organizing a carpenter's storage. Please find attached my references. Would love to hear back from you. Best regards. Done. No backing out now. I should keep checking my emails in case they reply with the test. Oh, it's you again. Looks like it. I'm now collecting stuff to decorate the boat lodge. To make it more yes to be esque You're involved with that abomination now? A bit, I guess. In that case, you're out of luck. I have vowed not to meddle in the affairs of the other people here, and in return, they don't meddle in mine. Especially regarding this lodge. That's too bad. But uh, thanks anyway. Hey, did you sleep okay? For the first time in ages. I had a thought this morning. Now that the cemetery is in such good shape, it has become obvious to me how badly we've been treating the chapel. Let's do something about that too. Plucking weeds at the cemetery is one thing, but we can't renovate an entire building. Don't dismiss it so quickly. Let's look at it and see what can be done. Would you meet me there? I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. Thank you, Galena. Oh, you're new here. I am. Lau's the name. I travel, I make music. Awesome. I was just passing by and thought I'd stay for a bit. I see. Yesterby can be a tough community to get into. You best heed my advice. Don't stay too long. By the way, I'm Bodhi, the current occupant of the garden house. <laughs> Sounds like you have just as much space as my van. Mm, it's adequate for now. Well, Al, it's been nice meeting you. Likewise. So, uh, about your mom's project. <sighs> All right. There used to be this bar near where we lived. The walls were lined with shelves filled with board games. 
You could order drinks and food and just pull out a game and play the night away. We used to go there every Thursday with a few of our You're friends. Back. Ready to help she often said she'd love to open a place like that herself. Okay. She even About attended Zach. workshops on how to start your own business. He was Andy's She was boyfriend. really serious about oh. it until wow. you came along. Poor guy. I didn't know that. He wants to it leave It was either yesterday. her own bar or he moving here. He lost his mom here too. She could have done both. That is rough. Right. There Zach are a lot of empty buildings around here. And but who would go there for a game and a go. drink? Pia? Maybe it's for the she best. She used to play a lot of board games when we were teenagers. Sometimes you just need a change of scenery. If you say so. I like it when things stay well, the same. Now you know. You know, when I left home, home what you like. I was scared. But guess what? It turned out to be the best decision of my life. Now it's just me, my guitar, and whatever welcomes me around the corner. Zach also plays. Angie liked it a lot. He's a musician. Huh. Maybe we could jam together. It might help him. You can try. It might not help him, though. Sometimes a crack is all that's needed for the light to get in. Ooh, <laughs> I gotta write that down. Okay, I don't want to keep you too long. So, see you later, Connie? Okay. Bye. Hey, Lee. Would you do me a solid? For you? Always. Ever since Dad started on the boat lodge, he barely talks to anyone. I worry that when I leave, he'll end up completely isolated, drowning himself in work, or worse. Whoa, hold it right there. You're bailing for real? I'm getting ready for it, yeah. Huh, well, without you around, Yesterby will be a lot less lively for sure. What are you going to do in the big old city anyway? I haven't figured it out just yet. So, crime. Crimes. Don't forget to tell me before you take the leap, okay? Obviously. But when I do, would you spend some time with Dad? Keep him sane, or at least try? Yeah, you bet I will. I'll work my movie magic and conjure up something your dad'll enjoy. Great. Just don't make it obvious that I asked. Gotcha. Surprise movie night it is, then. You're the best, Lee. I don't know how you can stand living here. It took me a while to get settled in, true. Now it's quite easy, actually. I just had to put aside the mindset of constantly wanting to achieve something. Then what exactly is it you see in Yesterby that I don't? Everything's so calm and charming. The people most of all, of course. Once you get to know everyone, how can you not love it? Yeah, until you get to the point where you've done everything there is to do, talked to everyone there is to talk to, and got a glimpse of who these people really are. I'm happy to report I haven't gotten to that point yet. Gallia has successfully kept me from it. It's easy when you have a shoulder to lean on. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. I'm glad you have someone who's there for you, Lee. I promised River to help decorate the boat lodge. You know, give it a more local character. Any ideas? You looking for decorations? Exactly. Hmm. Why didn't River just ask herself? She's busy keeping the project running. Yeah, I know. You could have some of my upcyclables. It's mostly pinwheels and little sculptures. Place them around the entrance and people might just feel right at home. Perfect. Thanks, man. Right, let's start with the pews. Sand them down, then apply new varnish. The same goes for the altar. Do you really think this is the right time to renovate a chapel? What better time? Once we're done with the pews and the altar, we can start with the walls and the roof. Oh, those leaks have been a nuisance for a while now. Hey, what a day, huh? How's our baby coming along? I'm having trouble with the walls. Well, is something wrong with the boards? No. Don't worry, I'll get it done tonight. 
Uh, excellent. Keep up the good work. I'm making the rounds looking for things to make the boat lodge a little comfier. Make it more yes to be, you know? Uh-huh. If you could spare a little something for something, you know, for decorating the place. I'm very sorry. I fear I don't have the mind for it right now. No worries. It's all good. Thanks for your time. Say, uh, of these old huts, which one would be best to turn into a bar? Inquired the woman who doesn't even drink coffee. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. I like where this is going. Try the beach hut. That's where we used to drink when I was young. I will. Thank you. Hey, uh... We have to reduce cost on development. Any idea how? Remove the solar panels. But we want it to be as ecological as possible. You asked me where we can save. That's the only thing I can think of. Hey, you got a minute? Sure. What's up? Um, Melville is still putting up the walls, which is actually something that should have been finished days ago. What? I'll talk to him. No offense, but how could you not have noticed it? Because I am not helicoptering him. He's a grown man. Well, even grown men can run out of money. Let me know if I have to step Don't in. Don't you have somewhere to I be? I got this, Dad. Like, Don't worry. where? I got awesome. your mom and dad. They have more time for themselves when I'm not around. They don't want time for themselves. What they want is not having to worry about their kid. They don't have to. I'm all right. If you say so. Oh, hi. We haven't met, have we? I don't believe so. Name's Lal. I'm traveling with my van and we'll be here for a couple of days. Oh, a fresh face is always welcome. Speaking of which, I can't shake the feeling I've seen you before. Oh, now I know. You look exactly like Morgrath the strategist. He never loses faith even in the face of the direst of situations. You're not a miniature model by any chance, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Don't mind me, then. I'm Lee. Nice meeting you. You too, Lee. See you around. You look just like the person I've been looking for. Oh? And what kind of person would that be? The kind that values sprawling decor. It's for the boat lodge. The idea is to liven it up a little. Right. In its current state, it's not exactly oozing with charm. Well, you said it first. Hmm. I hate giving them away. But, everything looks better with movie posters. I have a few unused ones boxed away somewhere. There was only so much I could demand of Gallia when I decorated our place. That'd be great. I'll tell River. Blanche, I was just bouncing around in my bubble when I realized there's actual work I could do. Uh-huh. Oh, you're talking about cleaning the schoolroom. I did that already. What about inventory? All done. It felt wrong to bother anyone with it, so I took matters into my own hands. Where have I heard that one before? I wish I had your energy. I feel sapped these days. Everyone does. How's Bodhi, by the way? He doesn't show it much. The little bean's industrious like a squirrel in fall. Probably got that from his dad. I'd say he got it from you. From me? I don't know anyone with more positive energy than you. It's the reason why I always ask for you this to substitute for me This is getting quite class. the habit. Oh, I'd like just to tell you more about me. the people around it's here. It's the truth. Wonderful. Don't lose Who? that. About it's Gallia. exactly what Yester B needs right now. Who's that? Huh. The doctor. The doctor? Thanks, I guess. Angie Anytime. went to see her often. Was she sick? It was to prevent her from becoming sick. Ah. They spent a lot of time together. I think Angie actually liked her better than Mom. And vice versa. Does Gallia have any family? Gallia still has Bodhi and Lee. 
but she spends a lot of time helping mom now instead. I don't think she should do that. Why? Because of Bodhi and Lee? If she does, she might lose them. Uh, actually, this sounds like it's your mum who could really use a friend right now. She could. So it's like an overflow that needs fixing. Would you like me to talk to Gallia? Maybe I can ease the load on her shoulders. You can try. Let's hope for the best. That's it for now. I have to go. Don't be a stranger. What if we scrapped the solar panels? But then how would we provide energy for the boats? Plug them into the electrical grid. That would be less eco-friendly. I'm not an expert, but I do have a contact who might have a few ideas. I'll see what he can do. I need the a break. The ER in the city is looking I'll be for fine an emergency in a care assistant. You want to apply? I've been thinking about it. Call me a weirdo, but somehow I feel it's what Angie would have wanted for me. I wonder, have you ever... No, forget about it. Have I ever what? I just find it interesting you'd say Angie would have wanted it for you. This one time I was doing a checkup with her, she mentioned that she wished you could look after her as well, in case I wasn't around. Huh, she never told me. Why would she say something like that? I don't know. Uh, the important question is, is a medical career where you picture yourself? I'm not sure. Well, one thing you definitely shouldn't do is choose a path based on what you think Angela might have wanted. Then what's your opinion as an expert? Do you believe I could do it? Absolutely. You sound convinced. I am, and it's not because I'm a physician. Even though you were going through tough times yourself, you were still there, helping your father. Yeah, I cursed every single day and wanted to run. You're still here, aren't you? In the end, you'll only find out if it's for you if you give it a try. So go for it. Well, the job requires an advanced first aid certificate, which I don't have. That's not an issue. I can train and certify you. Drop by the clinic whenever I'm there, and I'll show you the ropes. Cool. I'll think about it. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Uh, I noticed we're behind schedule. Any ideas how we can get some drive into the operation? Don't worry. Never missed a deadline. Right. Still, if you need anything, just holler. Whatever it takes to keep our act together. I have my act together. Sure. Sure. Never mind. You got this under control. I got this under control. Hey there. I'm helping out at the boat lodge. Do you happen to have some stuff lying around that could be used as decor for the place? To give them a more local personality, if you know what I'm saying. Did my daughter send you? More or less. Okay, how's your mom? Well, Could that's be a nice thought. She's Pouring some more yesterday into the project. I believe the school has we some all, interesting I, mats the, the kids made is, that you could use somehow. Unlike you, she didn't Brilliant. really know Angie. River will be so delighted. I think it's less about Angie. It's more profound, like a general dread of death. My dad is like that, too. Seriously? Yeah. Right after the funeral, he thought he had a heart attack. Gallia checked him out and found it was just a pinched nerve. That was a pretty close call. He almost considered doing more sports. Huh. <laughs> That's a great story. I'll tell her that. Mm. Whatever it takes to cheer her up. Say hi when you see her. I will. Thanks. Dad said he's glad that the dentist didn't exercise a lot with due diligence. He would have told him that Yesterby is a mess. Is Yesterby a mess, Mom? I got some support for the lodge. No, E. Support? It simply has its challenges like any other project? place. Your dad oh, just likes to of. exaggerate when he's they in a bad mood. They pledged to donate things for decorations. Oh, okay. Lee, she's going to bring some of her movie posters over. Bodhi will give you some of his upcyclables. And your mother's giving table mats you kids made at school. She is? Yeah. Huh, that's quite the collection. But I'm not sure Dad would approve of things like that being stuffed into the boats. Sorry, I don't mean to be ungrateful. You could try him. A contribution is still a contribution, however small it may be.
I half expected they'd chase you off as soon as you mentioned the lodge to them. So it's a start, I guess. Well, give it time. I'm sure she'll warm to it in the long run. Thank you, Lal. No biggie. Look at us. When we were kids, it was always me who looked after you. You're flattering yourself. I remember fighting quite a few fights that should have actually been yours. The Lambert boy. What a piece of work. Did you know that after that, my father had me shovel snow for the Lamberts for the entire winter? Really? I guess it was another opportunity to humble me, as he called it. I'm so glad you got me out of there. Anyone would have done that. But you were the only one who did. What the hell? Dad! Come on, don't do this to me! Can't you see I'm resting? It's been a rough day. Screw you. Just go home, okay? I can't deal with this right now. Everything's under control. This could work. There's enough space for a bar, some tables, and even shelves for board games. But first, I need to clean this place up. Despite looking after the sheep, working the farm doesn't seem to bring Dad much joy. He wasn't born into the job. He could have taken a different road. Hey, Connie, why don't ants go to church? Because they're insects. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. I wonder if they were always called dad jokes or only after our dad was born. He should have become a comedian. Nope, it was always his dream to be a farmer. All because of a TV show he used to watch as a kid. What show? It's about some family from the city who spends two summers at a farm. The Life We've Grown, I think it was called. We watched it together when I was young. Was it good? It was old. They were still figuring out color when it was filmed. But I bet there's a lot to learn about him just by watching the whole ordeal. Like what? Like, that he must have been a pretty impressionable kid. That reminds me, I heard this joke the other day that would impress the heck out of him. I'm saving it for the perfect moment, so don't spoil it. It goes like this. The life we've grown. Maybe it can tell us how we can cheer him up. Lee should know where we can dig up some episodes. Hello, my cute cumber. My little loom. Come here. Please, no hugs. Why not? I can't have that now. I have to go. Hey, buddy. Hey. Want to be my chief messenger for the day? I'm a great messenger. And tell your mom and sister that the dentists are fine with the cuts. What cuts? We're scrapping the solar to streamline our energy budget. What? But solar is the future. Yeah. Not everyone is happy about it, but at least they won't pull their funding. It'll still turn out great. Can you pass that on for me? Mm-hmm. Excellent. You're a big help, little buddy. Hey, Eli, it's time for your word of the week. What is it? Terraforming. I already know that one. You do? Yeah. It's when you make another planet like Earth. That's right. It's also what your father's trying to do here in Yesterby. Turning barren land into a place where people can settle and prosper. Yesterby is not a planet. Ah, oh, you should have seen this place before I bought it. All the fishermen had left. It was like a toxic landscape that no one wanted to touch. Really? Wow. Then are you some kind of hero, Dad? <laughs> nah, it was a group effort. But there you go. That's terraforming for you. Don't you forget it. A party boat. That would get an instant veto from your mom. 
How about a family vacation boat then, with wholesome board games and a knitting corner? The fishermen left us so many boats, we just need to refurbish one of the bigger ones and we're set. <laughs> My dad could finally discover his hidden love for the sea. Maybe we could get Melville to help? No way. I'm glad that my brother has the memory of a goldfish. Otherwise, he would have been traumatized for life after Melville shouted at him at the barbecue. Yeah, he totally lost it. I understand that he's in a dark place. I'd be too if I lost my wife and had to deal with Zack. But it's no excuse for giving everyone a hard time. I'm sure he can pull himself together if we give him the chance. He's too unstable. What about Zack? He's trying to stay out of his dad's way too. No, I mean, what about him helping out? No chance. He wants to stay as far away from carpentry as he can. So we have no one skilled enough to do the job. Eh, let's come up with a new idea. Melville was so angry after his wife died. I'm not sure if he got over it or simply gave up. I have a message from Dad. What? You're ruining the boat lodge. What? Because of the cuts you're making. He can't seriously blame me for that. No, but you're the manager. You can't let this happen. We have to make this project as good as possible. Yester, we can't die. It isn't my fault we have to compromise. It's just how it is. Andy would have never allowed this. Ugh! Angie wouldn't have even started. So, there is one person you haven't told me anything about yet. But there is no one else. Of course there is. You. Me? You're entangled too, aren't you? This isn't about me. The others are the ones who are lost. I need to be there for them, like Angie was. That sounds like a tough part to play. It's all so tiring. I can't... I, I'm not good at this. Maybe you shouldn't try to be like her and just do you. Give them a little nudge, Connie style. And maybe they'll appreciate that you're there for them. It could do you good too. We don't need their help. We can do this alone. <laughs> Well, someone's in a good mood today. You feel that, right? I thought with everyone feeling so down lately, I'd try to pass on some positive vibes. So, what song am I humming? <laughs> oh, uh, a title song from one of your cartoons? Yeah, but which one? <laughs> Stop it. See? It works. You're being silly. Is your plan to leave coming together? Slowly. You know, you can ask me for help. You weren't exactly happy when I told you I'd go. So thanks, but no thanks. You want me to be happy when my son leaves? Yeah, kinda. Maybe not happy I'm gone, more like happy I'm on my way. Look, I'm trying. I'll be good with it. In time. Uh-huh. Got an email. They're inviting me for the math test. And the link is only valid for 48 hours. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm not ready for this. I need to squeeze more math into my brain somehow before taking that test. Are you done at the chapel? No, but without Galia's help, it's hopeless. I'm going to lie down for a while. Oh. You want to talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. Good night. I heard about what happened. I'm sorry. You have, huh? You came here despite knowing what happened? To enjoy the show? That'd be cruel. I just wondered if you needed a helping hand mending stuff. Angie is dead. You can't mend that. No, I can't. But maybe other stuff. 
You've been planning to leave, right? Yeah. Who told you that? Connie. You've been talking to Connie? She told me you're a guitar player, like me. There were times when I thought I'd get on stage one day. Well, that's over. Why? I'm not good enough, and I can't get any better with everything that's going on. I'm not even sure if I want to. I could show you what it takes. Uh, I don't know. Think about it. I have my van down at the beach. I'll be around for a couple more days. All right. See you around, Zach. Yeah. See ya. Hey, are you good? I'm great. You should definitely take some time off. Dad and I will find a way to make it work. My wife lived and died for this village. Taking a break is not an option. Do you know where I can watch The Life We've Grown? Oh, that's a classic. I think I saw it briefly wash ashore in one of my streaming apps the other day. Want to come over and immerse yourself in some wholesome nostalgia? Can I? Of course! The TV is all yours. As long as you don't mind me occasionally dropping in on the action? I won't. Thank you. Oh, you're in for such a treat. This is ridiculous. But I've come too far to back out now. It's ready. Time to give Lee a good laugh. I finished your tax returns. I had to do tax returns this year? Uh, yeah. Remember the online shop you opened up in spring? Whatever happened to that anyway? Oh, it was just a phase. I have enough to do tending to the greenhouses. Besides, the world just wasn't ready for my resin dragons. You made over 4,000 bucks in two months. And that was just the start of your professional dragon career. 4,000 before taxes. Well, suit yourself. I sent you a copy of the paperwork. Don't forget to sign it. You're the best, Bean. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Hello there. Uh, hey. Do we know each other? Right. Excuse me. I'm Lal. I'm staying in Yesterby for a bit. Down by the beach. Oh, in that case, welcome. I'd offer to show you around, but there's a lot going on at the moment. Oh, no need. I'm perfectly fine. But I've heard the same can't be said for you. So you know about the accident that happened recently? I do. I'm sorry for your loss. Do you manage things around here? Oh, I wouldn't call it managing. More like helping everyone get by. Not yourself, though. Excuse me? You have a lot on your hands, don't you? I do, but I fail to see how that concerns you. Theoretically, not at all. However, in practice, I'd like to offer you some help. Sorry, uh, lol, is it? This is my responsibility. You have to ask someone else about a job. I'm not asking for a job. What, you're offering to volunteer? You're not even from here. Why should that be a hindrance in doing the right thing? You seem to be clearing up the cemetery. I've got green fingers. And thumbs. Not anymore. We're done there. Oh. You busy with something else, then? <sighs> Look, I don't know what you hope to get out of this, but we're doing okay. All right. I didn't mean to interfere or anything. Good luck. Melville? Hey, Melville! Huh. There's no need to be at work. We won't hit the deadline. You calling it off? No, but we need to come up with a plan B. Dad's already talking with the dentist to get us more time. More time is good, but not working now isn't. If you don't look after yourself, there's a risk of you not being able to work at all. Cut the coddling. This is about the future of the village. It's all under control. Ah, okay, 
Zach. You got this. You came prepared. Please stay with me here. I need you to watch out for me. Question number one. Ah, easy peasy. Question number two. Hmm. Question number three. Ah, shit. Analysis. Oh no, I went wrong somewhere. Ah. All right, I think I got it. Final question. Oh no, please not stochastics. Not so sure, but could be right. And that was that. Ah, damn it, I'm not sure how well I did. But I'm glad it's over. Now all that's left is waiting and hoping. Thanks for bearing with me, Angie. Ah, uh, do you have a minute? For you, I have all the time in the world. Great. Um, I, I want to show you something. Follow me. Oh? Oh, uh, what are you watching? The life we've grown. <sighs> that old thing. Well... I recommend not trying to apply anything in there to your own life. You'd be in for a big surprise. Uh, Lau? Hey, you came! Guess that means you're gonna show me some sweet guitar skills, hmm? Huh, <sighs> guess that's what it means. Nice. Come on, then. What, right now? Sure, why not? Uh, no, no, I, I just... I didn't bring my guitar. I wanted to ask you first. Here, take mine. I want to hear what you can do. Uh, okay. Dude, you're not half bad. Not bad at all. You think? Yeah. There's one little thing, though. You're not used to playing for an audience, are you? Not really. I only ever played for Angie. I can tell you're scared, man. I'm not scared. Just nervous. Do you know one thing that every audience is really good at? It's smelling fear. Like dogs do. If you want to play for a living, you've got to learn to deal with the fear. Okay. H how do you do it? There's only one way. And you're not gonna like it. What, like playing for an audience? And Bingo was his name, Mo. No way! I know. It's scary putting your heart and soul out there. But there's no way around it. Uh, I don't think I can. This isn't a city where you're just another face. I have to see these people every day. Which is good. It means that they're probably going to be more forgiving. If you only knew them. They're either forgiving or they're honest. Both are good. Try it. Then come back and play to me again. <sighs> yeah, I might try. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. The Shack. What do you have in mind, babe? You need to just go inside. Color me intrigued. Hmm. 
Wow, it's so empty. Try to imagine a, a bar over there, some, some tables here, a kitchen at the back, electricity, plumbing, a roof that isn't leaking. Wait, wait, wait. A bar? Yeah, a board games bar. Isn't that what you always wanted? Wasn't this some artist's atelier once? What happened to all his stuff? I threw it away. This is so sweet. I don't know what to say. But who would be my patrons? Whoever likes board games. I don't know. It was a stupid idea. No, no. I love it. I don't know if it has to be a bar, but tabletop gaming is an excellent idea. I'm already channeling a few ideas, but they'll all take time and an open mind from you. Oh dear. <laughs> you just opened Pandora's box. This is gonna be great. Hey, um... So, my friend Shelly texted me this morning. The tattoo artist? Yes, you remember her. Well, um, she's going on vacation tomorrow and asked me to look after her house for a while. You know I can't leave yesterday right now. Oh, you don't have to. Bodhi and I can do it alone. It's just for a few weeks. Oh, okay. My bean used to be such a social animal, but for the last few weeks, he's only ever been coming out of his cave to eat. Yeah, well, as long as you come back. Don't you worry about us, babe. Focus on all the stuff you feel needs fixing. You won't find any peace otherwise. All right. Great, I'll tell Bean. We'll leave in the morning. Did you enjoy the show? It wasn't very interesting. Yeah, it didn't age very well. If you imagine away all the farming stuff, the horse wrangling, the manure incident, you end up with a story about a bunch of folks who should be at each other's throats 24-7, but who still magically make it all work together. It's just Steve making them laugh again when they feel down. Yeah, that guy is a hero. But did you know that there's a pilot episode that never aired? It's supposed to be more dramatic and less easygoing than the show they ended up doing. Mostly because Steve is a very different character in that one. I didn't see it on your streaming app. Yeah, they don't have it. But let me pull some strings. You've still got a VHS player at home, right? Uh-huh. Splendid. I'll see what I can do. Ah, got a response. I can't look. It's gonna be a rejection. Calm down, Zach. <sighs> we appreciate your interest and the time you've invested. We are delighted to inform you that your application has been successful and that you are invited for a trial period. I got it. What the hell? I got it! Angie, I got the job! No. What is it? I can't do this anymore. Let me sleep. Just for tonight. I'll be right next to you. Get some rest, little sis. I'll wake you in the morning. If you want, I could ask Jasper to lend us the car and drive you tomorrow. That's sweet, but I wouldn't want to risk another squabble with him. We'll just take the bus. Okay. Suit yourself. Good night, then. Night. What's the matter? Tell her that you want her to stay. You were never that shy with me.
Remember how scared you were when Lee suggested moving in with you? I wasn't scared. I was skeptical. You were scared. It took me weeks to convince you that you deserve someone like her in your life. Don't tell me now that I was wrong. It made you so happy back then. So happy, in fact, that you even changed your mind about me and my own prospects in life. It was the first time you stopped being my doctor and became my friend. I'm sorry I didn't let you move to the city. I guess it shouldn't have come as a surprise. You're not really the type for optimism. Be honest. Deep down, you believe that Yesterby will never get over me dying. That you will forever need to be there for them and make their lives bearable. And maybe you're right. Or maybe you aren't. And one day, things will actually get easier again. And when that happens, you want Lee to still lie next to you. But what if it doesn't get better? It would make her miserable. Who knows? Can I ask you one last question? Did you really think that I'd never be able to leave Yesterby? You're... Immunodefenses were weak. It, it would have been risky. But I also had a bad day and I was too harsh with you. Would you still be alive if I'd been kinder? Don't be silly. Questions like that never have an answer. Will you be able to let me go now? I don't know. I'm afraid of what happens if I can't hear you anymore. You can always imagine me kicking your ass, just like I'm doing now. Take care, Galia. Thank you for looking out for me all these years. All of those people, do they wake up in the dead of night? How many people hear you weeping as they turn out the light? All the days go by with a fight All the days still glow in dead of night For this and all the things that we consent to hold us down I'm a little sauce from all the shadow people we have cast our lives around So that we can have a chance of being true and we can grow